Hello, social workers, mental health professionals, and change agents. Welcome to another episode of the Social Work Rants Podcast. Saludos a todos. Uh, greetings, everybody. Thank you for tuning in, watching, tapping in, listening wherever and however you're watching the podcast or listening to the podcast or both. Um, make sure you hit the red subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's been growing uh, steadily, and I appreciate that. Uh, also, follow the podcast on Instagram at the Social Work Ranch Podcast. That's all one word. You can follow the podcast on Twitter at Social Work Ranch. Uh, hit the like button on Facebook, aka Meta. Just type in the Social Work Ranch Podcast and hit the hit the like button and tune in tap in thank you everybody that's been rocking with me uh, gracias a todos uh, por su apoyo por uh, escuchando el podcast siguiéndome en uh, redes sociales uh, so we're all about uh, strength perspective at least 95 percent of the time i'm about strength perspective so i'm going to start off with some breaking news this happened just this week a couple of days ago. So thank you to Feedspot. Um, I, the Social Work Rants podcast has been ranked number nine in top in the top forty of social work podcasts. So I'm very e- excited for that news. Um, I just just wanted to be in the conversation about. Uh, like I hit them up like hey like I see all these incredible social workers with incredible podcasts um how can I uh, be in that conversation in terms of getting on the list somewhere down the line if possible or uh, I don't I don't know you know just you know, reached out to them, shooting my shot, and they hit hit me up and were like, and send me the link. Um, I gotta put it on my link tree on on, on my social media p- uh, pages. So, is to hit number nine uh, is 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 all about my listeners, my uh, my people who you guys that listen who watch the podcast is because of you uh, rocking with me from uh, January 2020. Uh, we, we two years and some change in and just shooting my shot, being my authentic self, uh, rambling, um, interviewing amazing social workers, interviewing amazing people, thinking outside the box, helping uh, my social work uh, profession as a whole, helping my fellow social workers, learning different things that are not taught in grad school, or at least when I went to grad school, it wasn't being taught in uh, interviewing uh, brand new social workers, uh, interviewing your favorite IG social workers. Um, Just thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love, all the support. Um, So great things on the horizon. This week's episode is about surviving and maintaining, surviving and thriving, because the rest of 2022 looks real bright and things fall, um, and even with a little luck, with God's grace also, um, I know I always have this thought in my head of like my mom in God's ears, like, you know, please like help help my son out, (laughs) so um if you if, if you uh, I'm, I'm i'm all into like uh gifts so i'll that gift of uh draymond green from the golden state warriors uh uh you know talking to kevin durant while he was in golden state and just like touching his chest while he's talking to him that's that's the gift that's always in my head that uh I feel like mom is always in uh god's ears like what else can you can you bless my son with so, uh, I miss my mom. Like it's two years. It was like all the feels of this past Mother's Day for all the mothers out there. I hope you had an amazing day. 
Um, definitely, uh, the morning was rough a little bit. Went to the cemetery. Um, my dad gave, got some flowers and went to the gravesite, did a prayer, and it's uh, finally like together, like grieving together for a moment and you know all in the fields and like may 3rd was the two-year anniversary of mom's passing so finally gave myself the grace to shed those tears that for some reason like refused or to come out and didn't let myself those tears come out but they definitely came out so with that being said, uh, get right into it. I don't know, still planning my wedding. Everything's coming coming together nicely. June 26th is right around the corner. Uh, can't wait to say I do. Shout out to my fiance. Uh, she sometimes listens to the podcast. Sometimes she, she wants to try to listen to the podcast while I'm in the car with her. Like, do it on your own time. <laughs> Um, but I can't wait um, another countdown is the end of the school year June 14th uh, kids are done in my school district June 21st I'm done for this at least for the regular school year I'll be doing some summer stuff uh, more than likely but I do not recommend to anybody Planning a wedding. I'm trying to leave my job still. Trying to change, trying to get a new job, going on interviews, planning a wedding, trying to, I've been putting my book to the back burner. It's just, it's just a lot. Um, want to release my book. Um, at the same time, trying to give myself grace. My book, Triumph Through Pain, How to Maximize Your Full Potential During Down During hard times i changed the title how triumph through pain how to maximize your full potential during hard times i uh, honor of mental health awareness month i wanted to do that this month um it depends how the book looks i'm trying to get a author copy and go through one last edit of the book how it looks how it feels and release it to the public so um uh, I got that coming up. Uh, I'm also writing a chapter in uh, Latinx and Social Work Part 2. Uh, that's due to come out this fall. And if Volume 2 has any sort of success that I think it will have, like Volume 1 has been, like, wow. Like, <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be a great way to end 2022 so i just need to get through these four weeks with with the, with the school um with these condescending emails that i get um and just make it through like you see these kids kindergartners step step up ceremony these fourth graders graduate be done the on the 14th and Give myself grace and then get get myself ready to say I do on it on June twenty sixth and the summer is here so it will be here so um and also because of um, mental health awareness month uh, shout out to all of you guys that have been um you know stepping up to the plate. Uh, talking about voter voter rights issues, uh, voter suppression. Um, you know, I've, I've been advocating about social work being political. Um, we got uh, women's reproductive rights are hanging in in the balance, hanging by a thread. We, um, no man should be telling a woman what to do with their body. Uh, we we need to make sure. Uh, a woman has the right to choose what they want to do, um, whether it is to have a baby um, for whatever reason they want to get an abortion, and that's up to them, up to that person, and uh, 
everybody's situation is different. Um, so the what whatever the law what the law is currently in the U.S. needs to remain a permanent law. Um, and you know, Democrats here in the U.S. have been slacking. Um, you know, Republicans are trying to get rid of voters' rights. You know, just uh, you know, voter suppression. Uh, you know, can't say the word gay in Florida, which is ridiculous. Uh, you know, trans rights, LGBTQ um, plus communities that continue to get disrespected. We need to protect uh, the rights of, er of everyone and. Uh, you know we need to be out there. We need we need to make sure that the NASW uh, step up to the plate and not just put up some posts like uh, keep telling them keep telling them they like hey the, the White House got a big lawn set up set up an event uh, at the White House set up set up an event uh, Wilmington Delaware right in front of the train station named after President Biden, uh, set up something, set up some anywhere, like be visible. Like, um, you know, we need, we need to see action and not just, not just words, not just some posts uh, on Twitter or Facebook or, or whatever, any social platform, uh, LinkedIn, like we, we need, we need action. Like people pay dues and not seeing any action. Um, there's just a lot, you know, going on, and uh, you know, we so we social workers, uh, uh, we need it. We need to get get paid our worth. Like we are, we're gonna work hard, but we're not gonna be killing ourselves. So we're still in a pandemic, and we're still dealing with that, and we need to get paid our worth. And, and have like more remote opportunities if we need to work on the, on the ground level. And however, each person's situation is different. I mean, for myself, I would love to have a remote job. Like I put a lot of mileage on this body in 20 years in the social work field. And uh, I'm tired of busting my ass. And, and I got two herniated discs. I got bone spurs in my feet. Like. I've given my the profession my my body and soul. So if I could get a remote position and work from home, like and being able to take my kids to school and and take care of my dad, be more present for him, then that that's a, a definite goal goal of mine. Um, moving forward, um, if I gotta be out in the field doing what I gotta do. Uh, uh, you know, uh, um, open, open-minded. I'm just looking to you know, be a responsible dad and soon-to-be husband and taking care of my family. If that means being out in the field, you know, do that until another opportunity comes. So I'm definitely a job hopper. So if you don't like your job and you want to change and get out the job and find something better, do that, especially uh, the pandemic's proved like we're not taking anybody's BS and especially for a little bit of money. So know your worth. Um, I'm learning, trying to learn my worth and you know, reach for the skies as well. And so I'm all about trying to thrive for myself and for my family. So um, right now I'm in so, <laughs> survival mode and get through these four weeks of school. So, you know, on the work front and do what I got to do the best of my ability at work. And a great man, a former coworker of mine once told a program director at one of my jobs I used to work at, he, says, he told him straight up, um, I'm trying, doing my best, trying my best. I'm paraphrasing for the most part. Doing my, I'm trying my best to the best of my ability, and that's all I can do. And I think about that a lot, and it, it rings so true for uh, all of us. You know, we still, many of us going through vicarious trauma, of like losing loved ones, losing clients, 
and we just trying to make it. That's <laughs> like we here. Like you lucky I came to work today. I mentioned this on on other episodes. Like you lucky I showed up today. Um, you know, yes, I got bills to pay, got responsibilities today, but there be other opportunities. Um, so you <laughs> basically you lucky I'm here. So you know, with that being said, um because it's mental health awareness month um the month of may even though mental health awareness is all day every day 365 a day days in the year uh every year so uh but for this month my fellow social workers mental health professionals change agents take care of your mental health the best way you know how to do it it's okay not to be okay uh seek help um, seek support. Um, this podcast is um, not a substitute for therapy. Uh, that's a disclaimer. Um, if you hear my podcast audio, that's the first thing that pops up is my disclaimer. Uh, don't you cannot use this podcast to substitute for therapy. Um, there's plenty of amazing therapists um, out there. Um, for all my uh, out of country listeners, definitely will. Um, there's short, there's therapists and social workers and other countries and stuff. Get the help that you need if if uh, if you feel you need help, you need to talk to somebody. Um, I have a good support system and um, try to get through. These 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 last few weeks of school, and continue to give good content, some funny content. Um, I made a, made a post yesterday about a meet a, a school meeting I had on, on Instagram. So, um, definitely the school working inside a school building is not for me. So uh, for my newbies in, in social work school, um, try everything. Try working in a hospital, do foster care, do work in a school if you can get in. Like anything outpatient, in, inpatient, find what you like, what you don't like, especially if you don't like it, don't, you know, don't do it if you, unless you really, really have to. Um, see what you you like you might be passionate about something and then you do it and you realize you don't like it and you gotta figure out what's next so um just take it one day at a time um definitely practice you know some real self-care whatever that self-care looks like for you uh do that um, with this podcast again uh, very grateful for you the listeners and grateful um I decided to do this podcast because it's definitely helped with, with, with my mentors and release some anxiety, release some stress, and if I had to release a, clerk, a curse word here and there just for frustration that I go through from time to time, and and uh, I'll do that. So, uh, that being said, I know uh, this is like a rambling episode. Uh, just um want to shout all you guys out um i'm still on a high from being a, a natural high being ranked number nine of top 40 social work podcasts uh it's friday i survived another week at work so just having kicking back having some coffee enjoying my friday and uh counting down these school days four four more four weeks and two days <laughs> It can't cannot come soon enough. It just really can't. Until next time, uh, if you want, again, you want to come come on the podcast, I'm always looking for guests. Please email me, Bass City Entertainment, LLC at gmail.com. It's B-A-S-C-I-T-Y, entertainment, L-L-C, that is all one word, uh, at gmail.com. Uh, I'm a one-person show, so uh, you email me. I don't get back to you right away. Just 
be patient and I'll get back to you. We set up set up something. I'm pretty flexible with with the schedule. Usually Tuesday through Fridays I record. If I got to record on the weekend just for a guest schedule, I'm willing to do that. Um, and I would love to showcase whatever you're doing and just kick back, have a good have a good conversation. Um, if we, we got to talk trash, we talk some trash, we, whatever, we're just kicking it. So um, I guess thanks everybody for your support. I'll talk to you guys soon. So, cuídense en mi gente. Saludos a todos. We still in a pandemic. Make sure you protect yourselves. Uh, I'm seeing on the news a lot more cases popping up. Uh, now they're talking about a fifth wave of COVID. So just uh, uh, protect yourself uh, while still uh, live your life the best of your ability. So uh, be safe out there. Take care, y'all.